Hey you guys, it's Christina and welcome to day five of the Healthy for the Holidays Challenge. Celebrating the holidays, your health, and the launch of my new book coming in January called The Fully Raw Diet. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Nine videos, nine days, a book, and giveaways to get you healthy for the holidays. And there's a bonus video coming on day 10. If you haven't already signed up for this free challenge or gotten your shopping list or meal plan, you can get them now on my website at fullyrod.com or click on the link in the description of this video. Your goal is to eat one fully raw meal a day throughout this challenge and hopefully throughout the holidays. The purpose of this challenge is to inspire you to eat healthy during the holidays and to celebrate the launch of my first book coming out in January called The Fully Raw Diet. This challenge gives you the opportunity to order the book online before it's released in stores nationwide. You can even gift a copy of the book to your friends and your family this holiday season. Everyone who participates in this challenge by signing up on my website at fullyrod.com and who participates daily by liking and commenting and sharing will get a free PDF of the recipes that are not included in my book. There are multiple prizes and giveaways for joining this challenge. All the different ways for you to win are outlined on my website at fullyrod.com. And you can win things like a Vitamix blender, a Juice Presto juicer, a Fully Raw produce shopping bag, glass straws, t-shirts, a spiralizer, a year worth of water from Evermorth Water, and a cute wooden utensil set. The more you engage and share, the more points you build to win one of these prizes. And on top of that, if you participate and purchase a copy or more of my book, you're entered in to win even more prizes that include things like my bracelets, a personalized coaching session with me, and maybe even a dinner for you made by me. That and many more items. To sign up for this challenge, go to my website at fullyrod.com or click on the link in the description of this video. It is day five, and today we are gonna be making fully raw mac and cheese. That's right. It looks like pasta, it tastes like pasta, and we have a super creamy, savory, deliciously cheese-like dressing that we're gonna be making and putting on top. Yes. We are going to attempt this, and I was actually pleasantly surprised when I tried to create a fully raw version of this recipe, so I know you're gonna love it. The challenge in making this recipe is making it thick enough to be cheesy and savory enough to have you remember how delicious that it is. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using a spiralizer, and if you don't have a spiralizer, you can find one on my websites at rawfullyorganic.com. Also, if you need to reference this recipe, I'll be writing it in the description of this video and also will put it up on my website for you as well. The first thing that we are going to do to make this recipe is make the noodles for our mac and cheese. So when you're ready, peel your zucchini, then cut off the ends and place it into your spiralizer. Start spiralizing. You will be amazed that this cool little machine makes noodles out of zucchini, carrots, beets, cucumbers, and more all of which are healthier options to other highly processed pastas. Put these noodles in a bowl when you're done and get ready to make the mac and cheese sauce. To make the mac and cheese sauce, I will be using a Vitamix blender. When ready, go ahead and place into your blender one small zucchini, two cups of fresh organic corn, one teaspoon of organic turmeric powder, half of one red bell pepper, half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, one green onion, half of a juiced lemon, one tablespoon of celery or even celery salt, one teaspoon of chili powder or even paprika if you prefer that, a quarter to half a cup of raw cashews, sesame seeds or even hemp seeds to make it creamy, and when you're ready, blend all of these together until completely smooth. This looks just like a creamy cheese dressing. Look at this. Nice. Oh yeah. And pour and mix this sauce into your noodles. Okay, now I'll just speak from here. Doesn't this look delicious? When I was a kid, I used to love macaroni and cheese. And as a little trick, if you wanna dice up some cauliflower and sprinkle it on top, it 
kind of tastes like Parmesan cheese. It's snowing. It's like practically Christmas. You guys, doesn't this look amazing? It's noodly, it's creamy, it's delicious, it's savory, and surprisingly, it tastes super cheesy. I know you're gonna love it. And this is something that you could have for dinner or as a lunch every day. Ready? <laughs> oh my goodness, these noodles are so long. All right, you guys, are you ready for the final taste? Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. A++ people. This one's a keeper. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. If you're excited to give this recipe a try, and if you're participating in this challenge, please give this video a thumbs up. And comment below and let me know what you think. If you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen making mac and cheese together. If you want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go and finish this mac and cheese, and I hope that you get to go and make it and do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love, and excited to see you tomorrow. Bye.